is. Ah, this is the life. Wait a sec. Is it something important supposed to happen today? Oh, today's our big day! We're supposed to leave the Fortress of Meripede! Come on, we've got to go complete the release procedures now! Please, sign here. This document will be effective immediately upon signing, and you two may exit the Fortress of Meripede via the regular channels. It's been so long since we've been to the surface. Let's hurry up and... Uh, what's happening? <sighs> I'm fine, thanks. But I wonder what that tremor was just now. Let's go ask the Duke! Your Grace? Ah, good to see you two. Is there something you wish to see me about? Yeah, what was with that earthquake just now? Ah, that. The tremor didn't originate from the seafloor. In fact, it seems it came from the surface. Over the years of serving as the warden here, I have developed a sense for distinguishing between what occurs on the surface and what occurs underwater. Besides, the seal that Monsieur Neuvillette set in place won't fail so easily. So, the fortress is okay? If you recall our last incident, if there really were a problem, there would be crowds of inmates in a panic right now. Huh. You've got a point. Okay, seems we need to get back up to the surface and ask about what happened. Uh, by the way, do you know what day it is today? Hmm, I believe today is this month's pipe cleaning day. Wait, seriously? Ah, yes. Have you completed your release papers? Yep. Ah, uh, it's you two. Uh, are you leaving now? That's right! Today is our last day in prison! But now that Paimon says that, it doesn't feel like we were confined here. It's actually been pretty nice! Oh yeah, Paimon feels fond of this place now! Then be sure to come back and visit. I'll miss you. If you've signed the release papers, then you're free to go. The guards will escort you out. You're not going to see us off? <laughs> I knew you'd ask. All right, sure. Let's go. Well, you actually agreed. Uh, no worries, you must be busy. Paimon was just joking. Ah, so you do have a polite side, I see. <laughs> After being down here for so long, I imagine you must feel like you're lacking companionship. Shall I come along too? Yeah, don't worry, we'll come back to see you. Uh, Paimon really likes the cafeteria here. The chefs sure do know how to make good grub! I hope you won't be here as convicts the next time I see you. We'll do our best to stay out of trouble! Well, it seems our work in the Fortress of Meripede is finished! That's the end of another chapter in our journey. And since Nervlet was the one who asked us to come here, we should probably go report to him now. Next up, the Palais Marmonia! You're going to see Monsieur Nervilet? <laughs> Please pass on our kind regards. I'm sure just your regards will do, no? Hmm, I believe it would be the polite thing to do. You're right. I've heard the Palais has been terribly busy these days. Tell him that I hope he hasn't been overwhelmed by the recent string of troubles. If you're concerned about things at the Palais, why don't you take some time to go up and check things out? I believe you should still have some vacation time to spend. <sighs> Thank you for being so understanding. It means a lot. It's been some time since I've gone to the surface. <sighs> I must say that I've started to miss it a little. The Palais Marmonia sure is buzzing with activity today! Halt! Huh? Oh, uh, it's you two. <laughs> Apologies, Monsieur Nervalet did say you'd be welcome at any time. Excuse me, uh, would you mind helping me take a look at this report? I'll be right there. Sorry, I've got my hands full here. You can see yourselves in. Seems a 
lot has been happening. Hello. You've come at the right time, but you'll have to wait for just a moment, as there are some urgent matters I must tend to first. In the meantime, please, have a seat. If you'd like to have something to drink, let the Melusine outside know. That's all right. We just ate. Very well, then. Let's take a break over there while we wait for him to finish his work. All right. I should wrap things up for now. Are you done with your work? Yes, sorry to keep you waiting. Today should be the day you were released from the Fortress of Meripede. And it appears that you've managed to complete all the release paperwork. That's right! And we came here to see you right away! Hmm... a massive whale... Judging from your description, that cannot have occurred in any ordinary waters, but rather something like the Primordial Sea. A whale of that size and shape cannot usually be found in the waters of Tevat. Therefore, we can only assume that Child is presently immersed in Primordial Seawater. Immersed in Primordial Seawater? What the hell? And is he okay? Most people wouldn't be capable of entering in the first place. I'm not completely sure how he could have gotten there myself. Yes? What is it? Ah, oh, right! Paimon felt it too! We asked the Duke and he said it wasn't from underwater, so we figured you might know something about it! It turns out that I have just received a report about this particular matter. In fact, that's exactly what I was busy with a moment ago. The source of the tremor was here on the surface, near Poisson. After the shaking stopped, the water levels in the Poisson area rose at an alarming rate. The water levels rose? Oh no! What about all the people there? Fortunately, the water levels only rose for a short period of time, and have already returned to normal now. However, I still have a bad feeling about the whole phenomenon. If the change in water levels is connected with the leaking primordial seawater, then the situation in Poisson may be much worse than it appears. Navia should be in Poisson, right? We need to go check on her! I would also like to go there as soon as possible, but I'm afraid I can't leave just yet. We must immediately formulate disaster prevention plans for the surrounding coastal areas to avoid potential catastrophes. I'll have to ask you two to go to Poisson first. I'll meet you there to check on the situation once I've finished things here. There's no time to lose! Let's get going! Please be careful. The two of you have my thanks. If you need any help, just let me know. your balance uh, all right just hurry <sighs> I'm not young anymore how will I survive on my own <laughs> my Desiree <laughs> 
looks pretty sad. <laughs> my leg. <laughs> my leg. How could this have happened? <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> Just hang in there. Help is on the way. You can hold my hand if it makes you feel better. You're here. We heard there was a situation in Poisson, so we came as quickly as we could. Yes. As you can see, the water level suddenly rose. It caused quite the disturbance, in fact. Demoiselle! There was a wounded resident next to a building southeast of here. We've already transported him to safety, but we've run out of medical supplies. He's wounded? How badly? He fell, so it's probably a broken leg. He's pretty shaken up. When the water level rose, he desperately climbed up to the roof. Once the water receded and he saw the ground, he became terrified and eventually... He jumped down then. Find the leader of Squad 1 and tell him to take the wounded resident to see a doctor. He should know where to go. Understood. I'll take over his search and rescue mission in the meantime. All right, you'll be in charge. I'm sorry. Where were we? Uh, the situation in Poisson? Ah, uh, right. Allow me to explain. A little earlier we suddenly heard a loud noise. At first, everyone thought that something might have exploded in the waterways. But before we knew it, water started pouring out from everywhere. The rushing water seemed a little odd, almost like the unique color of primordial seawater. Some people didn't realize the danger and thought it was just ordinary water leaking from somewhere. Everyone on the street who happened to be close to the water didn't have a chance to escape. As the water levels rose, they suddenly disappeared. They were all dissolved. Those who realized what was happening started to flee in a panic, desperately trying to get to higher ground. Many were injured in the stampede and some, some people fell from significant heights. The Spina di Rosula initiated rescue operations as quickly as possible, but there have been a lot of casualties. Fortunately, the water began to recede after some time, and the chaos came to an end. The water that flooded the area contained primordial seawater, so the lower levels of Poisson are still hazardous. To ensure everyone's safety, I've asked the people there to leave as soon as possible. No one knows if this could happen again. All we can do for now is try our best to help evacuate the residents. We still haven't completed the headcount, but we'll have some numbers soon. How awful. And all of this just came out of nowhere. It was quite frightening indeed. I only wish that everything that just happened was a bad dream. Is there any way we can help, Navia? Thank you for being so willing to help in a moment of crisis like this. You don't know how much it means to me. I really can't express how grateful I am. Don't say that, Navia. That's what friends are for. <sighs> Thank you.
Demoiselle! We've got a situation here! Uh, I'll be right there! Sorry, I, I need to go for now. And out she goes! Seems it might be a while before she can take a break. Okay, the wounded are being tended to, and we finished a preliminary headcount. More support has just arrived, so... I suppose I finally have a moment to focus on my own matters. Of course, we should remain ready for anything, and continue doing our best to rescue others. I'll be sure to have everyone at the Spina di Rosula ready to render assistance. Traveler? Paimon? Would you two accompany me to my father's grave for a moment? Huh? Right now? Thank you. Not a lot of people here, huh? Well, given the time of day and the whole situation in Poisson, Paimon doesn't think there'd be a ton of people here visiting graves. Right. That's how things are now. The living are so exhausted that they've no strength to spare any words for the dead. Um, Navia? <laughs> Navia, what's wrong? Sorry, I... I just... Malus and Silver... They won't ever come back here again. What should I do, Papa? Huh? What happened to them? Everyone agreed on the rescue plan, but still... I was the one who initiated it. They were helping evacuate the residents, but they couldn't leave in time. And... And they were caught in the seawater. <laughs> what, what should we do? I have known them for so long. And I know they weren't afraid. But... But... I could at least hold a funeral for my father, and I know where he rests. But as for Malus and Silver, they're just... gone. I just can't... Everything looks so clean after it rains. Even the gravestones. I didn't expect that you'd enjoy a glass of red wine in front of Master Callus's grave. I can understand. Besides, the scenery here isn't half bad. See? It's not just me. I always want to bring something when I visit Papa. Perhaps we might even have a picnic. He wouldn't be angry, would he? Ah, how could Master ever be upset with you, Demoiselle? Yet, the cemetery is the home of those who have passed, is it not? Everyone ends up here sooner or later. No matter who you are. Buying yourself a plot in advance, are you? <laughs> no need yet. But when I do, I hope you'll let me be buried beside Master Callus, Demoiselle. Hey, stop joking around. I'm quite serious. That way, it'll save us both the trip to see each other whenever you visit your father's grave. That makes sense. In that case, could I be buried on his other side? After all, besides you, Demoiselle, the two of us could certainly be considered Master's closest companions, no? Personally, I believe we fill those shoes just fine. <laughs> Why are you bringing this up all of a sudden? 
Seriously. All right, all right. I'll remember your requests. But I'd really prefer not to talk about this stuff. And what do you mean by saving me a trip? I'd make the journey even if I had to visit you two somewhere else. I'd promise to let them rest in peace here. But here I am breaking that promise. <sighs> I'm sorry for letting you see me in a mess like this. I don't usually cry, really. Paimon doesn't know how to help you feel better. But... Well... She understands how you feel. I had always thought I could make my wishes come true. But now that I think about it, that never solely relied on me. Many things can only be accomplished with someone else's help. Luce and Silver have helped me so much. But by contrast, I could do nothing for them. I'm so sorry. You can spend as much time as you need here, Navia. We'll stay with you. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> right now, you don't know how much that means. By the way, you can have a look at this. It's a list of victims from the incident that took place here. Obana... Khan... Burnett... Giverny... Francine... Karina, Daisy Ray, Joanville, Julianne, Esan, as well as Malus and Silver. So, everyone else is safe. But still. It's okay. I know what you're thinking. And you're right. We lost Malus and Silver. We were able to save more than we anticipated. The overall outcome indicates that the cost... was worth it. Right! Don't think that way, Navia. One person might be saved at the expense of another, sure, but... that isn't something we should ever consider a trade. Malus and Silver were not the price for saving anyone. They're heroes! You're right. Thank you, Paimon. What you said just now was pretty amazing, actually. I'll remember your words. Oh, uh, really? Seems you've become more eloquent in the time since we last met. Uh, the knave? What are you doing here? Ah, uh, is everything going well on your side? Yes. My people are carrying out the mission according to your request. All the residents of Poisson have been evacuated, and we are preparing to relocate them to higher ground. As for these supplies, we have everything taken care of. There is no need to worry. Thank you very much. Wait, do you two know each other? We just met recently. Right, Miss Navia? Hmm, usually. I would call this a coincidental encounter. But that doesn't quite fit this time. Besides, it never even crossed my mind that a Fatui Harbinger would come looking for me. Thanks to the Knave, Spina di Rosula received generous support from the Fatui, which allowed us to complete the rescue and evacuation work so quickly. Mutual aid is essential to fostering positive developments. We were already in the area, in any case, so it was nothing. That said, I must say that you're a lot sharper than you let on. I'm sure you understand what I mean. I apologize for all the ways in which I tested you previously. We've never worked with a Fatui before, and it's extremely important for us to know who we're working with. My subordinates have reported that Fatui soldiers have been observing water levels and taking head counts in various locations. I hear that they've also prepared a large amount of emergency supplies. I'm quite surprised. This is nothing to brag about, nor do I intend to. It is simply the way of powerful organizations to act forcefully, whether they are doing good or ill. You've witnessed that firsthand, in any case. 
As I've told this traveler before, I know of the prophecy, and I intend to prevent the impending disaster. Lending your organization a hand was a natural first step in accomplishing that. As such, do not be troubled by this token of our sincerity. Perhaps one day, you'll also be able to help me in the same way. Without your help, there would have been many more casualties. I won't forget your kindness. Furthermore, I sincerely regret what happened to Malus and Silver. I only wish that my people could have arrived a little earlier to prevent this from happening. Don't say that. You and your subordinates did everything you could. As Paimon said, Malus and Silver didn't choose to sacrifice themselves for any specific person. And they weren't the price paid for other salvation. They chose to become heroes themselves. I've never liked hearing people put it that way. It's like trying to relieve pain by saying some noble-sounding words. But right now, there's nothing more suitable. They really did become heroes. You're right. I'm sorry for your loss, Miss Navia. Water is life to Fontaine's people, and it also spells disaster. It's no wonder that people always say that prophecies represent fate. Fortunately, I've never been one for such opinions. So, you're one who will try to change fate then? Of course. That is why I'm going to Hotel Bouffe de Terre. I still have some things to take care of, and the children need my attention. By the way, Traveler, Paimon, one more thing. Alright, then we'll just... Uh... Huh? This isn't right. Paimon thought you would ask us to walk with you for a moment so you could tell us something in private. That is a clever and useful conversation technique, which I do like to use when necessary. But there's no need today. It would not hurt to have Miss Navia listening in. Traveler, I'm sure you remember that I said we could work together when we had the chance. You and I both know that there may be issues with the Primordial Sea. Previously, it was the Fortress of Meripede Sluice Gate, and this time it was the Water Levels in Poisson. These are both signals. Indeed. Allow me to share the latest intel I've received from the House of the Hearth's Intelligence Network with you. During some recent investigations, a child claimed to have discovered some ruins near Poisson. The ruins date back to ancient times, and seem to be worth investigating in many ways. Judging by the dating of the ruins, they may be related to the prophecy and the coming crisis. The situation is becoming more urgent, so any pertinent information will prove extremely precious. My people initially came to prepare for ruin exploration. Unexpectedly, this disaster struck. And at present, we're all busy prioritizing the rescue effort. So that's why the Fatui were already in Poisson. I wanted to take the children along, but unfortunately, Linny, Lynette, and Fremenet have all been dispatched to higher ground to assist affected residents. Linny told me that outside of the house, the person they trust most is you. Which is why I want to give you this task. The House of the Hearth's members see each other as family, but Linny, Lynette, and Fremenet said that they also see you as such, even though you are not from the House. I'm sure you already understand how earnest they consider their friendship with you to be. Oh! That's so feel kinda happy. The intel I just shared about the ruins could fetch a high price. Oh, but since the children consider you family, it's only natural that I freely share it with you. Got it! So all we gotta do is go to some ruins, right? Pfft, we can handle that. Excuse me, but may I tag along? You wish to join, Miss Navia? But are you sure you're up to exploring some ruins? You need to rest! Well, I'm sad, yes. But I can't just go back and plop myself into a chair by the roadside and do nothing. 
There's no point in being depressed while we still have a disaster on our hands. As my father's successor, I must live up to the hopes he had in me. Besides, I'm also doing this for myself. I need something... a distraction to keep my mind off Malus and Silver. Since you put it that way, I have no objections. What do you say, Traveler? All right. The ruins are to the south of Poisson. Here's the map. Okay, the three of us will handle it. Come on, let's pack up and get going! 